Hey, it's Chris Chico, and today I want to talk to you about virtual wholesaling using Facebook ads and how you could go into any market of the country. If you decided tomorrow that you wanted to start doing real estate deals in a particular market, you can go and within 24 hours be generating motivated sellers and be in a position where you can get your first deal done. And the reason I'm talking to you about this is because I, and I want your comment here to let me know, I am considering starting a brand new market from scratch, a market that I know nothing about, that I've never been in. Maybe I could have been at the airport or something like that, but I don't know the, anything related to that market where then I can go in and start running Facebook ads, start talking to sellers and get a deal done all within a relatively short period of time. And really to show you guys that many times you're making this a lot more complicated than it needs to be. So I want you to, and, and the reason I'm doing this is because again, I wanna show you that with relatively little risk and with very, very, and very quickly, you can get your first deal. And again, if you are interested in this strategy, uh, you can go to flipanywhere.com, flipanywhere.com, and you can watch my training on how to use Facebook ads for motivated sellers. We're having amazing success with that strategy. I'm helping uh, many real estate investors go from zero, not knowing anything about Facebook ads or uh, just nothing about running ads, and being in a position where now they're able to successfully um, run their first campaign and start generating leads and get get their first deal. So if you're interested in that, you go to uh, flipanywhere.com, flipanywhere.com. Now, here's the deal. A lot of times, people make this business a lot more complicated than it needs to be. In the beginning, you don't need a fancy CRM. In the beginning, you don't need, there's a lot of things you don't need. You think you need them. And in your head, you get yourself all wrapped up about all these different obstacles that you put unnecessarily in the way of your success. And when all said and done, you need really two essential skills. You need two things, excuse me. You need, one is a skill, one is a process. Number one is you need a way, one way, just one, just one, one way of going out and finding below market deals in whatever market you're gonna be going into, whether it be it's your local market or a virtual market. That's number one. And number two, two, very important, is you need the capability to be able to speak intelligently with property owners. Now, though, now you might say, well, gee, Chico, what about buyers? What about this, what about that? You know what, none of that stuff, none of that stuff matters unless you got the first two. So, because if right now, if today, if I showed you how to go out and find a deal today, and it was a great deal, uh, legitimately it was a deal, I would just tell you, stop whatever you're doing. All you're gonna do over the next three days is you're gonna talk to as many people, by the way, this is really annoying me. I'm looking at the background and I have a paper towel in the background. Sorry about that, it was really annoying me. You're thinking, why does Chico have a paper towel on his computer desk? Maybe I'm messy, I don't know. But anyway, let's go on. Um, now I lost track of what I was saying. Okay, I remember now. So if you found a great deal today, an amazing deal, then I would just say stop everything and go out and talk to as many people as you can over the next two or three days trying to find a buyer for it. That's it. That's a simple aspect of it. Don't worry about that now. There's no need to worry about that now because you got no, you got no deal. So unless you got a deal, you got, you got no business. And you don't need a fancy CRM again. You just need those two things. You need a way to find deals and you need to be able to talk to sellers. Now, the ways to find deals. There's a variety, a variety of different ways to find deals. I uh, very much pioneered you know, a, a lot of the direct mail strategies that are being used uh, today, back in the day in 2003 or so. Um, you know, postcards, uh, uh, the, the long, long copy postcards, blind copy postcards, 24 hour recorded messages, all that other jazz. And, uh, and they, they do work. Uh, however, 
you need a lot of money to spend on that. You know, if I were, if if you legitimately, if you ask me, Chico, how much money do I need to spend on direct mail in order to get a deal? You you've got to be able to spend, you know, up, you know, you're going to spend some money, thousands of thousands of dollars, in order to get enough direct mail. Provided you have the right list, you have the right postcard, you have all these things. And you know, the the challenge with direct mail is that you have got to take, and there's a little bit of a risk involved because. You can't just send. You can't just say, "Oh, let me spend fifty bucks in the, uh, the direct mail campaign, and then see if it works. And if it d- does work, then I'm going to go ahead and, and send out more mail." No, you got to send out at least two thousand postcards. So you already got a sunk cost in there. And what if you get the wrong list? What if you get the wrong postcard? And then all of a sudden, now you've got to go back to the drawing board. So you could go through uh, a variety of different uh, tests to get the right combination of the right list and the right postcard down. And uh, you're going to be spending some money while you do that. You're going to be, you're going to, you know, <laughs> significant amount of amounts of money. Now, there's cold calling, and there's nothing wrong with cold calling. A lot of people get deals using cold calling. I personally don't like cold calling. Um, you know, there's always a cost. People say some people would say, "Well, gee, there's no cost in cold calling." Well, there is because you got to buy the list, you got to get the skip tracing done. So there's cost. There's your time, and if you're working full time in a business, excuse me, if you're working full time at a job. And you got a few hours during the day to do stuff. It's hard to, you know, to do the volume of cold calling required in order to generate enough leads to do something. Uh, so that becomes a challenge. Um, the other part of it is: Do you like cold calling? Do you want to sit on the phone all day and make calls? You know, I mean, if you have to, you have to. But I personally, if I have other options, I'd rather not do that. Uh, there is uh, RVMs, and I have a video about this. RVM is where you send like ringless, you send voicemail messages into people's phones, but uh, that's a little bit gray area right now. There's text blasting, but again, uh, a little bit of gray area. There is PPC. Uh, PPC is very expensive. You got to know what you're doing. It's a very difficult platform to learn. And then SEO is slow. So what do we got left? <gasps> oh my God! Lo and behold, Facebook. <gasps> Wow, did I engineer that? Leave Facebook for last? Maybe. That's my the strategy that I'm going to use and the strategy that I recommend everybody get up and running with. Because you can start with a relatively small budget, you test. Only up only when you start seeing results you scale the budget. So you don't have to put out a lot of money up front. You're using a strategy that's not that really saturated. Uh, because not many people are doing it. The people that are doing it, some, most of them are not doing it correctly. And now you've got an opportunity to put yourself, you know, get seller leads that nobody else is talking to. So for me, starting a, a new market from scratch, uh, that's going to be my principal strategy, uh, using Facebook ads to find motivated sellers. And then uh, really just focus on that. I'm not going to, you know, it has to be a market where I don't have any buyers or anything like that. And that way I can show you how you can go out and successfully uh, put deals together uh, very quickly. And the whole purpose of this, the whole purpose of this is, again, to show you that it's a lot easier than you think. It's a lot, things could work for you a lot faster than where, than, than the progress that you're making now. If only you let go of certain things in your mind and mindset and uh, certain things of the way you're looking at, uh, at the whole process that are uh, preventing you from, ha- from having the success you want unnecessarily. And I suffer from this in a lot, and we all suffer from this, right? So in a variety of different ways, you always have these mental blocks that get put in the way. And, uh, and part of that is also focusing on the things that matter most, right? Because you fiddling around with your CRM, you know, just trying to make sure all the lead flow is perfect and, you know, you get this systemized thing that's really going to just be perfect and the lead comes in, it's like a ping ball machine, right? It just goes here, goes there, you get auto auto this, auto that and everything else. But at the end, you're just wasting your time. Listen, I remember when I first started, I had no CRM. I had a yellow pad and a paper and pen and that's it. And I still do the deals. So what's wrong with that? So again, Simplicity. Simplicity is key. 8020 is key. And that's what the whole purpose of this is to show you that you're making it a lot more complicated than it needs to be. All right. And I just got back actually from my trip in uh, overseas. So I'm a little foggy because I haven't been feeling that well. My back. Uh, uh, anyway, you don't know what well, you don't want to know about my problems, do you? You got your own problems, right? So let's talk about the problem that we're talking about here is you making some money, all right? 
you making some money, you starting this business, uh, making this business produce income for you, and now you can do whatever you want to do. Quit, quit your job, fire your boss, or just say the hell, over, the hell with everybody and just leave out of town and just make a ton of money and say, screw you. Whatever, doesn't matter. Anyway, that's it. Chico's a little salty today. The weather's a little bit cloudy and muggy and everything else in South Florida, but I'm thinking of you. I missed a couple days because I was flying back, but I'm back. So let's get on with the show, shall we? Remember, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make me a comment. Let me know when I'm doing this whole uh, virtual wholesaling uh, case study, what do you want to know? What do you want to make sure I cover? What are your questions? What are the things that are just eating you alive that you want to know how these things work? And maybe I would incorporate that into the videos. What about that? All right. I'll talk to you later.